So um, going forward, instead of uh, day one, day two, day three, um, I'm going to address topics uh, in each of my videos uh, that were going to become focus points for personalized blended learning um, and how I am handling them and how the issues um, that we're facing uh, are being dealt with because these are going to become issues for everyone in the building going forward. Uh, today's topic, the first topic that uh, clearly uh, was one of the main topics with uh, my kids and sort of the world at large is freedom and uh, how much freedom to give and how to handle it uh, both uh, as a teacher and as a student. Um, I have fought from the beginning of this pilot and to be honest I haven't had to fight hard um, for my students to have as much freedom as possible um, within the limits of school, law, and logic. Um, and we have very candid conversations about cost-benefit analysis. Uh, I'm an economist and those types of things make sense to me. Uh, think about what's being asked of you. Think about what you have to lose. So I'll give you a couple of for instances. <clears throat> uh, in the program, uh, in our gen, if a student is working on their content area, or college and career pathways, or they're working on part of a committee, they have access to some parts of the school. They have access to my classroom. They have access to uh, the commons area. They have access to the cafeteria, the library, and room 401. Now, that's more freedom than they've been allowed in the past. Uh, and they're struggling with it on a couple of levels. Uh, one of them is, wait, I can really just go and work on this? Do you need to check on me or do I need to oh, go do your work and come back and check in and so on and so forth? And they're, they're really thriving with it. Um, we have some definite limitations uh, and wow, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's some serious bass happening next door. Uh, Miss Tim is uh, throwing down. Um, freedom is earned. And uh, it can't be just given. It's got to be. It's got to be earned in my class. So, as they are going through their content area, uh, if they haven't achieved a certain percentage on their content, on ingenuity within the contents of a blended classroom, how far they are in the curriculum, um, they're confined to my classroom. Yeah. Well, I have to go work on this committee. Okay. Well, you can't attend that committee meeting because. You haven't gotten this far in psychology. Uh, once you get your content area up, then you can have the freedom to go and do more. Um, and I think if you put those, just like you would in a regular classroom, if you set the classroom expectations of uh, you need to ask me before you go to the washroom, you need to take this washroom pass, um, you know, if you need to get a drink, what, these, whatever rules we set up for our classroom, uh, they appreciate and follow. Uh, one of the biggest <clears throat> issues uh, we've had is are we all taking the same lunch um, and how they manage to take different lunches um, and they love the idea that well today I can have fourth period lunch and tomorrow I'm gonna have sixth period lunch um, and understanding the limitations you know there's always the question well can't I just sit down in the lunchroom between fourth and sixth period because you said it's free well theoretically yes as long as you're hitting your goals. And we'll talk about scheduling and planning a day in one of the later videos. Um, but freedom is, uh, is an important thing because they feel like they've never had true freedom before. Um, and it's simply to some move around. And I think that students feel that teachers automatically assume that as soon as they get out of sight, they're going to do stupid things or bad things or do nothing um, and that will still happen from time to time but at least my students know that they have so much to lose um, they finally got into a program that's stylized for the type of learning that they want to do um, and they know if they screw it up they could be back uh, in the classroom setting that they did not enjoy so like anything else, uh, freedom is laying the groundwork, uh, 
having everyone be on the same page, and then enforcing those things fairly. Um, we're in the middle of week two, and I've already had to say, you're not allowed to leave except to go to the washroom or go to lunch um, because you're behind in this. So uh, it's not totally different, and I'm sure we're going to come up with some some issues that happen, uh, and we'll deal with those one-on-one -on -one like, uh, like the dean would or we would in the classroom. So anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, talk to you soon.